208. What is the Holy Eucharist? Holy Eucharist is the sacrament in which Jesus Christ gives his body and blood, himself for us. So that we too might give ourselves to him in love and be united with him in holy communion. In this way, we are joined with the one body of Christ, the Church. After baptism and confirmation, the Eucharist is the third sacrament of initiation of the Catholic Church. In some dioceses in the world, the order is a bit different as it goes from baptism, holy communion, then confirmation. The Eucharist is the mysterious center of all these sacraments. Because the historic sacrifice of Jesus on the cross is made present during the words of consecration in a hidden, unbloody manner. Thus the celebration of the Eucharist is the source and summit of the Christian life. Second Vatican Council, Lumen Gentian 11. I saw a poster showing the sacrament of the Eucharist as the center with the other six sacraments around it showing the foundational role of the Eucharist. Everything aims at this. Besides this, there is nothing greater that one could attain. When we eat the broken bread, we unite ourselves with the love of Jesus who gave his body for us on the wood of the cross. When we drink from the chalice, we unite ourselves with him who even poured out his blood out of love for us. We did not invent this ritual. Jesus himself celebrated the Last Supper with his disciples and therein anticipated his death. He gave himself to his disciples under the signs of bread and wine and commanded them from then on even after his death to celebrate the Eucharist. Do this in remembrance of me, 1 Corinthians eleven twenty four. Two o nine. When did Christ institute the Eucharist? Christ instituted the Holy Eucharist on the evening before his death, on the night when he was betrayed. 1 Corinthians 
when he gathered the apostles around him in the upper room in Jerusalem and celebrated the Last Supper with them. Many people accuse Catholics, saying, Every time you have Mass, you kill Jesus over and over. That is a misunderstanding. We can clarify this. There is only one Mass, which means only one sacrifice. which means that every time we go to Mass, we are brought back in time to the Last Supper and the Crucifixion. We are literally there. When Mass is over, we are transported back to the present moment, meaning right now, this minute. That is why the answer to this question of how many Masses are offered since the Last Supper is not billions and billions or that it is impossible to count as there are so many. The answer is one, because every time we go to Mass, we are brought back to the one sacrifice. The Last Supper was totally connected to the crucifixion. Wow, what a gift. Two ten. How did Christ institute the Eucharist? For I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you. that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the chalice, after supper, sang, This chalice is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 1 Corinthians 11:23 23-25 Often, people think that the oldest account of the Last Supper is in the Gospels. Not so. Actually, the oldest account of the events in the upper room at the Last Supper is by the Apostle Paul. who was not an eyewitness himself, but rather wrote down what was being preserved as a holy mystery by the young Christian community and was being celebrated in the liturgy.
Hello, my name is Father Christopher Klusman. I'm from the Archdiocese of Milwaukee in Wisconsin. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next week.